Today we're taking on what might be our most ambitious renovation in The Sims yet. I realize that is a bold statement, but um, look at this. I'm gonna try to renovate this. Emphasis on try, okay? Because <laughs> where do you even begin with this kind of thing? There is a backstory to this house though. It was built by Dr. Gluon and I will link the video he made on that down below and also his Twitch channel and YouTube channel and stuff because I know he spent a very long time on this. In the new Dream Home Decorator pack, there's a TV channel they added that your Sims can watch. And this is the house from that TV channel. So it's kind of meta. It was a house built by someone to put in the game that then Gluon recreated in the game. Okay, Katarina, calm down. Does she not have a TV? Oh, she does. Okay, we're gonna watch it on this little tiny box TV. I think I should get her a fancier one. If we're gonna try and watch the show so I can tell you what they're talking about, we gotta get a nicer TV. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. But there's a new Dream Home Decorator Network. And they make actual TV shows in the game for these TV shows in the game so you can watch them and you can see what they do just you wait <laughs> wait the cats are watching too <laughs> that's really cute so as you can see originally there was like a prison some of these weird interior rooms <laughs> and gluon tried to recreate all of this exactly in his build so you'll see all of these weird little parts they're actually in the game now gluon rebuilt them and that my friends, is the house. Rebuilt by poor Dr. Gluon in like painstaking detail. And I'm just gonna come through and destroy it all and turn it into something much less exciting. <laughs> but you can see he recreated everything about this. They're crying about it. Anyway, you can see all of it here again. The three faces on the front of the house, this weird pool. Even the grave under the tree, the water slide, this spill that's happening, the prison from the inside, they showed that off in the video. This part was in it. This room was in it. <laughs> I mean, all of this was actually in the show. So this build is genuinely really impressive. Like, I cannot even imagine how much time it took to make this. And Gluon challenged me to try to renovate it. And so that is what we're gonna do today. <laughs> Keep in mind, if you wanna watch the video that he made about this, I'll link it down below for you. Honestly, well worth the watch. But I think with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the renovation. Okay, so step one, I went in and I deleted every single little piece of hard work that Gluon put into this. <laughs> I just went in and I deleted all the landscaping, all that stuff. I had to eliminate it all so that we could get started. I also did a couple things that I probably shouldn't have. Like I moved the house a little bit on the lot and I also deleted at the end of the day, you'll see, a couple things. I did not keep the house as big as it was. <laughs> I think my goal with this was that I wanted to keep that original shape. So you remember what the house looked like? Maybe you don't. There was like a little snippet of the actual exterior of the house before the design show came in and destroyed it. And you can kind of see that from that main blue like shingled building in the center. I kind of wanted to keep that sort of vibe. It kind of reminds me of these like Cape Cod houses. A lot of the things that we have in Brindleton Bay look like that. So I tried to channel that and bring it back. I also kept the house on the side. There was like a prison on the left side of the building. I kept that and I turned into a guest house and I also kept that like weird bridge room and I made like a walkway over it and kind of turned into a carport at the end of the day. So I tried to keep some of the like little snippets <laughs> of the shape from before, but I did get rid of the third story because it was just too much. I did not know how to roof it. I tried. I couldn't make it work, so I, I eliminated it. <laughs> I also, like, there was a little bay window sort of bump out. I put that on the other side of the house. I kept the fountain in the back and made that the same shape of the new pool. So I tried to, like, have some odes to the original while also, um making it more playable. And I'm gonna be honest, I think this house might be one of my favorite things I have ever built in The Sims. I mean, I guess you could say I didn't build it but it looks really different at the end of the day, so maybe I did. <laughs> but it's really beautiful. It has like a nice, like the backyard garden space is probably one of the best outdoor areas I've ever done. And I'm gonna be honest, um, <laughs> I think I may have disappointed poor Dr. Gluon because I didn't keep any of the weird stuff he did. He even had a cow plant and I deleted it. Like I deleted everything, but my backyard was just too fancy. I couldn't fit anything in it. <laughs> I also tried to keep a few of like the original styles of this main building, like I kept the shingles on the outside. I kept the white wood flooring, which I must admit, I really don't like. I like to have like fancier wood flooring, like richer 
oak sort of colors. I don't know, but I never used just white wood floors in my Sims builds, but because Gluon did, I chose to keep it. So you're welcome. <laughs> that really directed the, the color seam of the inside though. Like once we kept that flooring, it kind of gave us a direction for the inside. It's got a bunch of bedrooms. It has three bedrooms upstairs. It has like a guest house, like sort of apartment thing to the left of the building. So you can see that like weird thing on the left. There's a second floor and then there's like a big downstairs. The downstairs is the guest house apartment, like pool house almost. It has a separate entrance. Like, you can only get into it from the back of the house, like from the pool, there's a front door for the guest house. And then the upstairs was going to be an art studio. So it, you can only access the upstairs from the like little bridge thingy. So it has a separate entrance as well. They're not attached on the inside. There's no like stairs or anything. You can just get to it from the inside of the main house or from the outside to get into the guest house. Does that make sense? Um, but yeah, it was gonna be an art studio. And then I decided to make it a cupcake room. Cause I, I was trying to think, you know, like what, what is a necessity for this house? What are we missing that's important? And the only thing I could think of was a cupcake machine. So uh, <laughs> I put a cupcake machine upstairs in that room. I think it turned out pretty nice. I mean, where else can you put a cupcake machine besides the second floor of your guest house, right? Do you know what, all things considered, this house really is not as like grand as it seems from the outside. Like there's three bedrooms upstairs. None of them have an ensuite. There's not like a really fancy primary bedroom bedroom in this house. Like, I think you kind of look at it from the outside and think, wow, there must be like a really nice parent's bedroom upstairs somewhere. You know, there's not, there's not. <laughs> in fact, the parent's bedroom barely fits a double bed. Like they don't even have two nightstands because it doesn't fit. Like there's not a really fancy bedroom in this house, but I guess it kind of gives off the vibe that it's maybe an older, smaller house. You know, like that kind of thing happens a lot in older houses. So maybe it's an older house that got renovated for a TV show, <laughs> absolutely destroyed, and then renovated again for a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm wondering if the people who built the original house, like the video team that works for The Sims, who built this original monstrosity to make that video to play on the TV screen, I wonder if they still have the build. I, I feel like they must. Can we get the original on the gallery so we can compare it to Gluons? Like, that's what I'd like to see. <laughs> Do you know what? I think that, like, being the people who make the official Sims trailers and, like, make the TV shows for in-game, like, it must have taken so much work for such a small thing. Like, I love the attention to detail in that. I think it's so cool that they've made this, like, really impressive thing, this, like, little tiny 30-second video that plays on your Sims TV screens. Like, I bet many of you didn't even realize that there was like actual TV shows that you could watch. I mean, same thing with movie hangout stuff. That pack has like actual movies, like little mini shows that you can watch on your Sims TV. And they're actually really good and really funny. I love that kind of detail in The Sims. Like it's almost like lore, <laughs> but barely. It's just like these little things. Like I love the radio stations, the TV channels. Like I love those little tiny details because there are a lot of things in The Sims that I think the average player just will never notice or realize they have, you know, like there's so many little tiny things that just the average person who picks up The Sims 4 is never going to bother with. But then there's people like us who are like, oh my God, let's recreate the TV show from Dream Home Decorator. <laughs> and my friend, Miss Griffey, Tanya built a house. There's like an item in the game that comes with a new pack that has a floor plan of a house, like a picture of a floor plan of a house on this like item that came with Dream Home Decorator. And Tanya rebuilt the house from that floor plan. Like, I just love that kind of thing. Like, we just get a little snippet and then the Simmers are like, let's make it, let's recreate it, <laughs> let's rebuild it. I just, I love that. I'll link Miss Griffey's channel too for you because I think you should check her out, she's so cool. All right, while I'm giving shout outs and talking about things you should not miss, I wanna promote really quickly that today on Twitch, I'm doing a charity stream. I'm already live when this video is going up. So if you wanna come drop by, we're raising money for the Transgender Law Center today and I'm gonna be playing Sims like all day. So if you wanna come in and hang out with us and support the fun Razor. I will link it down below for you, both my stream and also the charity page so that you can donate if you'd like to. Please don't feel like you have to, but if you want to drop by, we're going to hang out and play some games and raise some money for a good cause. So with that being said, <laughs> I will stop talking your ear off about like plugging things, but I just think it's important to like drop in and mention the charity streams when I'm doing them. So if you didn't know, we do charity events on my Twitch channel like every month. To date, we've raised $790,000 total for charity, various charities. Um, 
but <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. I, I think it's really cool that my community comes together and we can do all these things to help a lot of people. So I just wanted to mention that, but with that being said, I'll stop. <laughs> the build though. So you can see, I, I spent a lot of time figuring out the floor plan and figuring out like, all of the, the room sizes and like the layout of the exterior. And I really was putting off figuring out what color I wanted to paint the exterior of the house because I so badly didn't want to make a blue suburban again. Like I know that I paint everything in the Sims blue, but it's just because everything has a good blue swatch. Like there, there's so many good things that are blue in the Sims. We are lacking other swatches. <laughs> we, we just have so many blue things. So I keep using blue because there's so much of it that's blue and good. I don't know. Give me some more like greens or something. I, Sims team, please. <laughs> but I really didn't want to make it blue because I know I make everything blue. So I was putting it off, but I ended up making it gray, which is, it's kind of a bluish toned gray, but it's gray, not blue. And the original house was blue. So it wouldn't be bad if I made it blue. Okay. Because it was blue to start off with but I made it gray. <laughs> and I made sort of a combo of, of this stone foundation that matches the fence. And then we had a gray paneling, a gray shingle, and then we kind of combined it to get some interesting, like more dynamic looking exteriors to this building. And I think at the end of the day, it turned out really, really, really nicely. And now that we've kind of come a little bit further, you can, you can really see what our goal was with the exterior of this house. I think from the beginning, you're probably like, what is she trying to do here? This is ridiculous. But I think now that it's getting closer to being done on the outside, you can kind of see what we were aiming for. So I kept the original shape of that pool that Gluon made, but I flipped it a little bit. And then I put a gazebo next to it because it totally fit perfectly. I ended up putting a hot tub on the gazebo. And then we have like an outdoor kitchen outside. There's a bar, like the backyard is really nice. It's really fancy. The inside is a lot less fancy. Like I was saying before, I think you look at this and expect it to be like absolutely massive and really fancy on the inside because the exterior kind of gives off that vibe. But the inside's not so big. You walk into the TV room, they've got a little kitchen breakfast nook off of that. There's a formal dining room. There's like a little smaller den type sitting room that has a cat tree in the window. <laughs> so there's like kind of two living rooms, but they both have TVs in them. I think I see that kind of thing a lot in real life where they'll have like a, the formal like fancier main family room and then like the smaller TV room where the kids have like their video game consoles and stuff. So like we have one of those in this house too. And then we have an office downstairs that believe it or not has a bookcase door leading into it. I don't usually do that, but my chat demands a bookcase door in every single build I do. Literally every day on Twitch, I have hundreds of children say, put a bookcase door, put a bookcase door. No matter what I'm doing, I could be making like a bar or making like, I'm trying to think of the, the last place you expect this fancy secret door, but like I could be making a park and they'll be like, put a bookcase door. <laughs> the, every time it's become kind of a meme now. So I, I did put a bookcase door and a cupcake machine. My two greatest, most requested demands are uh, three. People ask for a cat cafe, a glass roof, a bookcase door, and a cupcake machine literally constantly. And now that I joke about it in a video, like I'm gonna get asked about it more, obviously, cause people are gonna like joke about it now that I've said it, but <laughs> they're not kidding. I get asked this every time, <laughs> which I respect though. I mean, you need a cupcake machine. It's not a Sims build without a cupcake machine, right? That cupcake machine is honestly bigger than a lot of the builds that I do. Like I make a lot of smaller, like little family homes. That cupcake machine is bigger than them. It's bigger than the bedrooms in those houses. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay. I have a story, unrelated completely, but I did something a bit scary this week. I did a photo shoot. I am not a model. <laughs> I'm not good at taking photos. There's a reason I barely ever post on Instagram. Like I feel very awkward trying to take photos, but I have new merch coming out very soon. Very, very, very soon. Stay tuned. Um, and so the merch company wanted to like take photos for the website, like of me wearing the merch, you know, to put on the website. And so they hired like a model. They had me there to take the photos. They had a photographer and we were taking pictures in the merch. I have never done anything like this before, but I did that on Monday and it was really scary. I think I did a bad job. Like, I think it was kind of awkward, but it's okay because like the rest of the people there were not awkward. So they did a good job. So there are some good photos, but 
<laughs> and then it rained. Like, we were out taking photos outside. And then it started storming because it's Florida. So, of course, it did. And so, we had to, like, go inside and try and, like, make it work. So, you know, at the end of the day, it could have gone better. Um, <laughs> it feels like lots of things went wrong with the storm and stuff. And I'm just awkward. Like, I'm not good at posing and stuff. I just don't know how. So, I'm kind of scared the photos are awkward. But, it, again, it's supposed to be photos of the merch, right? So, if my face is stupid, then it's fine, right? Right? But anyway, I was really nervous about it, but I think it went well. I'm, I'm being dramatic. I'm, I'm being like too self-deprecating right now. I probably shouldn't be because it, it was okay. I was just really nervous about it, but I'm excited for you to see everything. I can't wait to tell you about it. Ah, oh, okay. Soon. Very, very, very soon. I've never had like real merch before. I've made like merch myself and like had it on Teespring before, but I've never had like real merch, you know? So this stuff I'm really excited about. <laughs> And I think it's really cute. So, okay, I'll stop talking about it. Oh, one more thing. I brought my mom to the photo shoot because I was scared to, I'm really scared of driving. We know this, but like, I was more just scared of like the photo shoot. And so I didn't want to go there myself and I knew it was going to storm that night. And I was like, mom, what if I get like trapped in Sanford in a storm? <laughs> Please, can you come with me? So my mom came, she was there for moral support. Honestly, it was good because she had umbrellas. She had two umbrellas. So she was like walking us to our cars. Like she was like helping walk the photographer to her car with the umbrella and stuff. So, I mean, it worked out. You always need a mom places, you know, because she's got to do mom things like have an umbrella. So two umbrellas, it was worth it. I'm glad that she was there, but it also was good for my um, moral support that I needed so desperately because I'm a little weenie baby who is afraid of everything. But again, I think it went okay. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty cool. Now, as far as the rest of the house goes, we've kind of finished the majority of the house now. So so we're just kind of working on the interior here a little bit, um, just the last couple bedrooms. Now, remember the original house that Dr. Gluon built was a lot. Like there was really bright colors and lots of weird things in there. So I tried to channel those weird things in the bedrooms, but in like a tasteful way. So I picked some pretty bright colors in both of the kids' rooms. In my head, there's like one kids' room and one teens' room. And so the kids' room is like really bright colors, really bright pinks and blues. I was basing it off the rug that I picked. <laughs> but I think like it turned out really cute. I think it makes sense to have really bright things like that in a kids' bedroom. And the other bedroom is very much black and white. Like I used this tree black and white wallpaper that I've never used before. And then I based the whole thing off of that. So I was trying to pick some things that I don't usually use in my Sims builds for the interior of this house, at least for the bedrooms. I think it's kind of fun to try and branch out and pick like goofier look in bedrooms, you know? And by the way, usually with fixer uppers, we give ourselves more of a budget. Like we'll ha we'll say, okay, we have 30,000 simoleons to renovate this house. With this build, I did not bother with a budget because the house was already worth like 300,000 simoleons because there were so many wacky things on the inside. So like there was no point in having a budget because just by deleting the furniture, we got all the money back. So like I didn't bother with a budget for this renovation because the original house was so expensive. There was no point. Um, but I think at the end of it and it, it costs like 230,000 simoleons. I don't remember. We'll check in a minute. It's almost done now. But the house is a... It, uh, is expensive. The house is expensive. It's really expensive. But like I said, it's less expensive than it was before. So it's fine, right? <laughs> as long as it costs less than the original, then it's fine, right? And one more cool thing about this house. So there are three bedrooms upstairs. They all have balconies. Every single one of them. The parents' room actually has the worst balcony, believe it or not, the smallest one. Um, but there, this is the most private, I guess, because it's on the side of the house and not the front or back. So there's less people that will see you um, sort of walking by, which I feel like is a bit backwards compared to normal life. But there's no house next door to this one. So the side of the house to me feels like the most private, nicest one. <laughs> but it is the smallest. So you win some, you lose some. But their room is pretty cute. Uh, it doesn't fit two nightstands because it's so small. So I did really think about that. Like the upstairs of this house could have been laid out better. I probably could have had instead of the office downstairs, I probably could have had like a fancier primary suite with like instead of the office and den, we could have had a fancier parents bedroom and an ensuite bathroom. But instead we have one bathroom upstairs, a laundry room upstairs, and then another bathroom downstairs. So it isn't like the biggest, fanciest interior. I keep saying that, but 
it just looks so grand from the outside. You'd expect it to be better than this, but it's not. It's just not. I think though, we're kind of wrapping up the end of the build here. It's, it's pretty much done. So let's jump back into the game real time and I'll give you a tour of the update. In case you forgot, this is what we started with. <laughs> it looks nothing like what we've done now, but keep this original building and this part in mind, okay? Just, just think about these vibes over here. Ignore this part. I pretend I do not see it. Think about this part, right? Okay, and also one last quick uh, look at some of these things on the interior. We have this teddy bear room. Um, there's many levels to this prison. <laughs> just look at this. <laughs> just look at it. Look at the detail. What is this? Okay, now I'm gonna replace it. With a house that costs 174,000 simoleons. Oh my god. Okay, it's not, I thought it was 230, so it's it's cheap. Our house is very cheap. Uh, but this is the finished product. I'm so happy with this. I love the front. Like, I think the landscaping and the layout turned out really nicely. So you can see I turned this, like, middle part that was already there with the bridge. I turned into a pretend carport and driveway. Obviously, these aren't real cars. They're just debug cars. They cost zero simoleons and... They're decorative, you can't even click on them. But it, it has the right vibes. <laughs> we also have like a little swing set in the front yard. There's like two balconies. And then when you go through the back, you can get to the back of the house from here. We've got the trash cans kind of hidden in the carport. At the back of the house, we have this like outdoor kitchen area. We have a nice big table, giant pool, a gazebo with the hot tub and a fan. And then to get to the other side, you have to walk across the balcony, but I think that kind of makes sense to walk across the patio to get to the other side. And then there's like some cute lounge chairs over here. I mean, I am really, really happy with the backyard of this house. I think it's really nice. The only way to get into the guest house is through this door. So there's like a separate entrance into the guest house, which to me makes sense. Maybe like grandma lives here. She has her own kitchen and living room and bedroom and bathroom. So she's kind of got all the bases covered. And then above that is the cupcake room <laughs> with the cupcakes on the walls. I'm picturing like, a little tea party sort of setup here. You know, you can come hang out, eat your cupcakes, but the only way to get into this place is across this bridge. So you have to access it from the main house. It just happens to be on top of grandma's house. There's not like a staircase or anything. It's not for grandma. The guests are not invited to the cupcake room, okay? <laughs> but then in the main house, the first room you walk into is the living room, the like main big family room. Then to the right, we have a little kitchen and sort of breakfast nook area. There's the main big downstairs bathroom. It's got two doors. I feel like that makes sense to have it easily accessible from lots of areas of the house. Also the cat's litter box, you know, Jerry as an ode to Dr. Gluon. <laughs> the dining room off that space. We have the bookcase door into the office. And then this is that den I was talking about, like the like cozier hangout space for the kids maybe. And then obviously the cat tree. Upstairs, we've got a really big hallway. Dog bed, fish tank, <laughs> secret desk nook. I don't actually know if this functions or not, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hope that it does. So th that's there. The laundry room, we've got a bathroom upstairs that like the whole family shares. And then we have this kid's bedroom with like the fanciest deck. I made the outside before I decorated the bedroom, so now they kind of feel like they don't fit, but it's okay. This like teens room with the posters and stuff on the walls, I love this one. And then we have the, the little siblings bedroom too, with also posters, but more brightly colored stuff. And then the parents have the smallest bedroom, but it's still really nice in there. Don't worry, we have laundry hampers for the laundry room. And that's the whole house. It is on my gallery if you wanna download it. It is unrecognizable from the original, but that's almost kind of fun. Like it kind of is exciting that it's so different or maybe it's a bad thing, I don't know. I will link Dr. Gluon's channel down below if you wanna go check out his stuff. He is so creative and talented and just the best. And again, we do have that charity stream going on today for the Transgender Law Center, so I'll link that down below as well. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. If you want to make a house for Fixer Upper, I do renovate your houses a lot. This Dr. Gluon one is a bit of an exception. Hashtag fix me Lil Simsy on the gallery. Build a rundown, kind of wacky house. I might renovate it for a video.